everybody welcome back to the stream i know it's been a long time since i streamed i'm very sorry about that but today we are going to play fallout 4 i <laughs> i was fighting myself for i want to say the entire week since the tv show came out i'm like i kind of want to play fallout again but i don't know if i want to like do videos on it so i was like i'll just play it in my spare time and then like i finished the show a few days ago and then, like, I kept seeing, like, so many, like, posts about Fallout, and I'm like, I kind of want to play it, but I don't want to record it because I'm, like, lazy right now, and, like, I'm pregnant, and I don't want to sit here for long, and I thought, I'll just stream it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stream it instead. It will be a lot easier that way, and also, I can actually, like, finish this game because... I bought this game nine years ago when it came out in 2015, and it was one of the first Let's Plays I had on my channel, but I didn't get far in it. Number one, I deleted that Let's Play because, like, it was like when I didn't have a camera or anything. I was just speaking into a microphone. It was terrible. It was awful. I deleted a lot of my old Let's Plays, but it was one of my first Let's Plays that I had on the channel, and um, I didn't get far in that game, maybe like an hour or two into it, and then I stopped playing it because I decided to play something else. Um, so I deleted that Let's Play, and then I never came back to Fallout, even like off-camera, I never played it off-camera. I think I just got distracted by Dragon Age, so I just didn't play it. <laughs> and then last year, I actually started Fallout New Vegas, which also I didn't finish, and there's a reason for that. I started it before I bought Baldur's Gate 3, and then when I bought Baldur's Gate 3, I had no room on my PC, and I'm like, damn it, I have to install a lot of games. And New Vegas was one of them. I had to delete New Vegas, because I needed room for Baldur's Gate 3, because I didn't- I, I didn't anticipate how big that game file was gonna be. So, we're here again, and I- I'm just like, I'm just gonna go with Fallout 4, because why not? So, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should play New Vegas, because it's better, and stuff like that. And I feel like- yeah, I could. It's just that I started it so recently, like, it's still fresh in my mind. I don't remember crap about Fallout 4. I just remember you're looking for your kid. I know that's the plot of Fallout 4. You're looking for your kid that goes missing. That's all I remember. I don't remember anything else. <laughs> so I figured it'd probably be best if I just did 4. Um, and then also I want to, like, clarify. I'm not taking this, like, playthrough, like, super serious. Like, I got to do, like, every single thing i just want to play this and have fun with you guys okay so like less pressure because when i did play new vegas there was a lot of people who were like you need to do this mission and you need to do that mission you got to do this it's like let me play it you know what i mean let's just let's just play it and enjoy it so um yeah i thanks to the follow show we're, we're here again and i gotta say i i was really impressed with the the tv show I legit thought it was not going to be good when they first announced it because like a lot of video game adaptations are not that great. Let's be real. There's a very there's very few that are pretty good. And um yeah, I had low expectations when I was watching it and then when I did after the first episode, I was like, "Whoa, holy crap. It was actually like they got it like pretty much spot on." <laughs> like, you know? And, and, and honestly, the feel of it and I love the the actors that they picked to great story that they they decided to go with great it was amazing the props everything like how everything looked it was pretty good the only thing i, I the only complaint i had about the tv show is like the death claws where are they at <laughs> that's the only thing but um uh, aside from that i highly recommend the tv show if anyone is wondering if they want to like start watching it or something like that i recommend it i i also think it's pretty friendly to people who, who never played any fallout game before um I, I, I think I think a lot of people who, who've never seen it or played the video game and watched it really enjoyed it too Which is why there's lots of people playing the game right now. So re I recommend it if you're if you're looking for a show to watch You should definitely check it out <laughs> and um, I guess the other thing is 
if anyone's watching this stream later on and wondering if I'm still playing Baldur's Gate 3, like my Dark Urge playthrough, I am. I just haven't been streaming a lot this month because I had a lot of doctor's appointments, so it should calm down now and I should go back to doing that. So I'm going to be flipping through Fallout 4 and Baldur's Gate, just kind of like switch it up because I'm not starting a new Let's Play after I finish Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth because I don't want to start a new one and then like I'm having my kids soon. And then, like, I stopped the playthrough. You know what I'm saying? In the middle. And live streaming is a little bit easier for me because I don't have to edit anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. All right? So, that's what we're going to do for today. We're just going to play Fallout 4 and enjoy it. Um, just for fun. I still can't believe I'm playing this game again. But I'm, I'm, I'm actually determined to finish it. Because I, I, do, I don't even know what happens. Like, what happens when you, when you go looking for your kid and stuff? Because I didn't get it that far. Also, don't know who I'm going to romance in Fallout, too. Because you can romance people in this game. That I remember. So, we'll see We'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys are ready for this. <laughs> also, I don't think I could, I could name the stream. I, I, I Storm, I see your message, like, naming the stream 420. I think I would get demonetized if I did something like that. <laughs> so, I'm going to stay away from that. You're going to a Black Eyed Peas concert? Well, I hope you have fun. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> also, hi everyone just joining. I hope y'all are doing well. Um... Oh! I should also say, I'm playing this on the Xbox, so I'm not doing any mods at the moment, because I know... I didn't want to download any mods for this game, because I knew that they were going to do like the huge update for Fallout 4 next week and I was like that's gonna break the game so I'm not gonna do that <laughs> so I'm just playing the Xbox version no mods just you know I don't want to break anything so we'll just keep it like that this game has its own ghoul I good <laughs> good good cuz um I yet yeah, the ghoul is my favorite in the show I mean they they got a they got a really good actor to play him so like that's kind of like mainly why I really liked his character but like genuinely I feel like the ghouls are the best ones. Let's be real here. I also like Lucy too. I thought she was cute. So I really like her her um the way that they wrote her character from like being a very naive vault dweller to how she is at the end of the season. Very good progression. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, no, the, the, this version of Fallout that I have is just the regular one, because this, this is the one that I bought nine years ago, so... The, this is before any of the DLC came out. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have any DLC included in this. The show really makes me want to play as a gold- Me too! Honestly! If that was an option, can I do that? I would wanna. <laughs> I wanna do that. Oh no, I'm so sorry about the pipe bursting, Lauren. That sucks. I, I, that's not, that's not fun. I, hopefully that will get fixed up for you quick and you, you know, you don't have to deal with that. But yeah, let's, let's just have fun in the stream today. Um, and have fun with this. That's, that's, that's my main goal for today. Dragon Age Dreadwolf does still happen. Will you play? Oh yeah, I'm playing it. Don't worry. I'm, Dragon Age is still my favorite game. I'm, I'm gonna play it regardless. Even if... Even if it's not like the greatest, I know a lot of people have worries about it, but I'm still gonna play Dreadwolf. I need to, because I need to know what happens. <laughs> Lucy's actress has those giant anime eyes that helps with the portrayal of the character. Yeah. Yeah. Lucy's the character everyone has been expecting uh, the kind to of hate. I wasn't sure what they were gonna do with her. Honestly, I thought she was just gonna be like, you know... Like, your average... Because, like, it's very hard to make a protagonist with games... Not games like this, but stories that are based on games like this where the protagonist can literally be anyone because the protagonist is you, the player. So I really didn't know what they were going to do with Lucy. I didn't expect to like her at all. I just thought, like, oh, she's just, you know, vault dweller. <laughs> but she was actually really good. What happened in the new Vegas playthrough? I had to delete it because I was playing Baldur's Gate and I had no room. 
on my PC. So, and it's still fresh in my mind. I didn't want to replay it again to the point where I was at. I kind of want to do Fallout 4 because I have no memory of it. <laughs> Are you still continuing the Assassin's Creed series? Yes. Soon. <laughs> I just don't want to start a new Let's Play yet until I finish Infinite Wealth and Final Fantasy VII. Those are the the two main ones I really want to finish first with recording because recording takes a while. That's why I'm, I'm doing Follow 4 as a live stream because like I can just sit here and I don't have to edit anything. You know what I mean? It's like easier for me. I can just do this. So I'm, I'm, I'm almost done with Infinite Wealth. Like I'm on the last two chapters of the game so I should be done with that too. And also, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching the halfway point of Final Fantasy VII, so that should be also done soon. So I just don't want to start anything, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to start it, and then, like, I'm having my baby, and it's like, Sorry, guys, I gotta leave for a while, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do that. So, I'm just waiting to finish everything I have. So, we're just gonna go with that. Um... Fallout TV show is what I wish the Halo show was. Yeah, I've heard that. I haven't watched the Halo. Granted, I've never really played the Halo game, so like I can't really like give an opinion on that, but I've seen a lot of people saying the Halo shows are terrible, and like Master Chief takes his helmet off, and as somebody who's not a fan of Halo, I think that's weird too. Cause like, isn't the whole thing like he doesn't take his helmet off anyway? Like what? <laughs> Infinite wealth is a media game. It's a lot. There's a lot going on and I'm trying to do all the side quests of Kiryu So it's like that's kind of like on me though <laughs> Hey Daniel, I'm doing good. How are you? You put 150 hours into it. I believe you because it's a lot I'm gonna start watching that one I've never seen any of the games from the Yakuza series or similar and that's okay. Honestly, I said this last time, if people want to like start playing the Yakuza games, you don't have to start from the beginning. Obviously it's better if you do because you get more of the story, but I feel like for, for new players, if you want to just jump into 7 because that's a new protagonist, I still think that's okay too. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Of course you're going to miss like Easter eggs and stuff like there's a lot of Easter eggs in that game, but like starting off with Ichiban is not a bad thing. <laughs> An RPG like Infinite Wealth is truly never done at first. No, it's not, because there's so much stuff you can do in that game. You know, you can do like so many like side missions. I haven't even done all of them yet, so <laughs> there's just like so much you could do. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss, Derek. I really am. Um, I'm I'm glad my videos can like you know give something to you, and I I, I really send um, positive vibes and love to your family because that's not easy to deal with. The whole point of not seeing Chief's face is that you are Master Chief. Yeah, and that goes goes back to... I guess that kind of like breaks the immersion, right? Because it's like... Now it's like you see this guy. D didn't he have like... Okay, I don't know. Again, I don't know because I haven't seen the show or anything. But wasn't there like love scenes for the Halo show? And that's also kind of weird because it doesn't like fit into like what's going on. Because like... Honestly, I feel like a lot of TV shows do like love scenes too much. And it's not that I don't like it, because I, I love romance. You guys know me. I love all that stuff. But it has to make sense. You can't just have people just start, like, doing it just because. You know what I mean? It has to make sense as to why that's happening. <laughs> hey, Wish. Yeah, you need to, I need to do all the memories. I'm doing them. I got... I, we got one left. One left. That's why I'm, like, hoping we'll, I'll get it before I finish it. Um, out of the Yakuza games, which is your favorite? Oh, Zero. Zero was my number one. I actually really like that one. <laughs> uh, I'm a huge RPG fan. Love uh, Baldur's Gate 3, but I haven't played many. What would you recommend to play first? I've always played Baldur's Gate, Skyrim, and started out on Fallout. Dragon Age. I will always... I know, again, I know there's a lot of things going on with Bioware, but genuinely speaking... I always say Dragon Age Origins is such a good game. I know it's older, but genuinely the writing for it is so flipping good. Especially if you like the writing of Baldur's Gate 3, you will like Dragon Age Origins. I think that's why 
one of the reasons why I think Baldur's Gate 3 was so popular because the Dragon Age fandom doesn't have any Dragon Age games to go to. So we all went to Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I really think that's what happened. But if you like just, you know, good writing, um, obviously the gameplay is a little bit dated, but you know, it's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. If you get on PC, you can get mods to make it look better and stuff, but I'd recommend Dragon Age Origins. The, the, the story's just really good. And like, if you're like me who likes romance stuff, you're gonna enjoy that too because there's so many romance options and you can be gay in that too if you want to. You can have gay romances in Dragon Age. And I, 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 I think that's really cool for like, you know, how old the game is because not a lot of games did that back then. So that's also another thing. Spartans like John are supposed to be emotionally stunted. Again, it's sad that it's like that. <laughs> so they just added it for no reason then. They're just like, hey, let's make Master Chief do that. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's weird. Majima's Ark in Zero was so good. It's a trap for new players expecting to have way more Majima in the other games. No, I actually really liked it. And I, I mentioned this in my tier list video that I made couple years ago i said the reason why i like majima is because of yakuza zero and if i never played that first let, let's say i started with one and then just continue from there i don't think i would like majima that much because i don't know his like real reasoning as to why he's like crazy or acts crazy i should say it gives him a good arc that's that's kind of like why i liked zero Yes, that's true. Dragon Age Origin is the spiritual successor of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 because Bioware originally made them. That's very true. And like, if you if you prefer like a sci-fi version, again, this is a Bioware game, play Mass Effect. It's the same deal. Um, it's just that you're shooting things. So like, think of like Fallout 4, you're using guns and stuff. But the writing is fantastic. Uh, all the characters that you meet in there are great. Good romance options too, let me just say. There's a lot of them. Same deal with Dragon Age as well, where it's like, it's a little bit older, but the game still holds up pretty well. So that's also another one that I, I really loved. I love how they did the characters in Inquisition. Me too. Uh, they felt more like actual people than the characters of uh, Dragon Age 2. I'm sad because I actually really like Dragon Age 2. Like, the, Dragon Age 2 gets, like, a little bad rep just because of, like, you know, how the production was of it. And, um, Dragonborn, thank you so much for joining the companions. Um, they were, they were rushed because they only finished it in a year, which shows. But I like the characters of the second game. <laughs> I thought they were nice. <laughs> The writing still holds up well for Dragon Age 2. It's just the gameplay is really bad. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, without the explanation, he just comes up as a random psycho. Yeah, exactly. He's just a guy who just, like, gets mad and, like, whacks people. And I'm just like, what the hell? Like, when I first played the first game, and then Majima comes out and he beats that guy in the alley in the beginning, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> But I get why he is like that because I played Zero. Only got two Yakuza games and I'm scared to start them. I got huge backlog as it is. Take your time. You don't gotta rush. I got a huge ass backlog too. Trust me. Like there's a lot of games that I, I'm still... I have to play that I didn't yet. I'm sorry guys. But don't, don't feel bad. Take your time with them. Oh, you rebranded? You you got a new channel. Okay, got you, Hank. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry about it. Um. I'm trying to think of like another RPG that I played. That's like you know, choice based, heavily choice based. Because like there's other RPGs that I play, but they're more like JRPGs. And I feel like JRPGs are kind of like their own thing. It's kind of like some people like them, some people don't, which is understandable because it's different than regular, you know, RPGs. <laughs> I know you guys can't see her, but Clementine's over there. <laughs> but if you're into JRPGs, 
Final Fantasy series is like one of them. It's one of my favorites. The first, the first video game I've ever played on the PS One was Final Fantasy VIII. So like, I recommend it. Um, uh, uh, Persona, Persona is another good one. There's also romances in Persona as well. If you're into that, it's just a JRPG, so it's a little bit structured differently. But that's another one. Um, Man, I don't know. I know there's a lot, but like my brain, my pregnancy brain is not helping me right now. So. <laughs> I know there's more. It's just I can't remember anything. Um, have I played Knights of the Older? No, I haven't. I haven't. I would like to try that. I would like to try that game too. Ooh, Isabelle is so good. I loved her. She's great. Okay, no one hate me. You know who I romanced in um, Dragon Age 2? For those of you who have played. Oh, The Witcher 3! That's also a, the Witcher series. Play that. That's a good one, too. <laughs> That's also a good one. <laughs> Highly recommend that one. Um, that one's good. I, I sadly started with The Witcher 3. I didn't get to play Witcher 1 or 2. So I was just kind of like, you know, going along with it. But I had so much fun with The Witcher 3. It was great. It was a great game. Very good. Very, very good. Hi, Jenna. I'm doing good. I'm doing good today. I'm excited to play some Fallout. We'll, we'll, we'll start very soon, guys. I promise. Anders? How do you know? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? Yeah, I romance Anders. And he's like... Listen. Listen. I'm an I'm a, I'm a Anders defender, okay? What what he did was not his fault. That's all I'm gonna say. It, it's not his fault. He was possessed by a demon. <laughs> it's not his fault. Um. Yeah, Persona Five uh, Royal or or Persona Three Reload. Yeah, that those those two I recommend. Is Skyrim choice based? I feel like it's a good RPG, but it doesn't feel like the effects. It I mean, it is. It just depends on how you play it. I like Skyrim when it first came out. Like my first playthrough, I was a vampire, which was a mistake because like when you walk out in public, people are like, oh my God, a vampire and they start attacking you. So, you know, you can, you can just, it, it's more of so like, not really choice based games, but it's just like you, you're, you're kind of putting yourself into the game, but you get to choose the choices you make. It's just, it's a Bethesda game. <laughs> Who did you romance in The Witcher 3? Oh, Yennefer! I love her! No offense to Trish, but like, Yennefer all the way, what the hell? Like, she's meant to be with Geralt. I don't care. What, you know, I know they, they made a wish on the genie and whatever. Don't give a crap. He belongs with Yennefer, okay? And then they have their daughter, Ciri, so like, I can't break them up. <laughs> it was Anders or Fenris, judging by your history of RPG rooms. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I went to Anders first and then Isabella since. Isabella is one of the few lady characters that I always choose over the men. I'm gay, so that says a lot. But she's a good character. That's the thing. So, like, I don't blame you. You know what I mean? She's a really good character. I enjoyed this, the Witcher 3. Hated the gameplay. Especially Gwen. That's okay. And that's not for everybody, you know. That's totally fine if you didn't like it. Um, which Resident Evil games do you recommend? Um, oh god, okay. And like, out of all of them in general, my favorite is still Resident Evil 2. That's still my favorite one. Um, I liked Revelations, but like, I feel like sometimes the gameplay is a little bit frustrating because it's a little bit aged, but like, I'd still recommend playing it. Um, but yeah, in, in, in the mainline games, I'd put Resident Evil 2 as the number one pick. And then, probably, I really like 7. That game scared the shit out of me, though. I like 7. Village is also a really good one. And it's not because of Lady Demetrescu, okay? I liked it in general. <laughs> Just, I really liked it. And also, Resident Evil 4 and 5. I had fun with those games, too. Resident Evil 5 is just stupid, but it's, like, really fun. Especially if you do the co-op with, with somebody, like a friend or something like that. It's really fun. 
Uh, will you play Rise of the Ronin? I, mm, I, I haven't decided if I was going to. I was supposed to... <laughs> This is how you know like I'm off track because of everything. I was gonna do a video. I recorded it. I just haven't edited it. I recorded a video of like the character editor for Dragon's Dogma. And then I was like, oh, I, I wonder if I can make other characters in this. I made a Starion in a Dragon's Dogma. I just haven't edited the video. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna release it or not. But that game and Rise of Ronin, I, I, I'm still debating if I'm gonna do anything with them. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really seen much gameplay though, but I heard it plays like Souls. Um, I heard that Mass Effect is loosely based on the events that have actually happened. And, um, and beings are based on real known ET beings. Okay, I don't know if I, can anyone confirm that if that if that's actually true for Mass Effect, because I have no idea. I went with Meryl in Dragon Age 2. Meryl's cute. I like her. She's really sweet. She's honestly really sweet. My romance choices for Dragon Age is Iron Bull or Dorian. I'm sorry, but I like the gay romances in Dragon Age. Iron Bull is the best husband and Dorian needs to be protected. Yo, Iron Bull. I, first of all, I love both of those characters. Every time I play Dragon Age Inquisition, those two are like my buddies in the game because they have the funniest banter. Like everything they talk about is so hilarious. But genuinely speaking, Iron Bull. Oh my god, I love him as a character so much. And then same with Dorian. Um, his romance is very... I know his romance is very emotional because, like, what he goes through. But, dude, good characters. <laughs> hey, Drag, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy today's um, stream with Fallout 4. Again, I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna... Make a character and um, see where it goes on from there. I haven't even decided if I'm going to play as a male or female character. Sometimes I play as a dude when I play RPGs, but I'm not really sure today. We're, we're going we're gonna to figure it out, though. If you had to pick one game you want to remake... Um... Hmm. The Sly Cooper series. I really liked that one growing up. That's like one of my favorite games. I would like that as like a remake... You know? <laughs> Wait, why do you have resentment of Meryl? I don't remember. Tell me. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, Masako, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. I hope you'll have fun with today's stream and everything. Iron Bull is the best romance ever. Big, tough man who pri prioritizes letting you know you can always stop and he will. Yes, that too. Like the romance side, I'm like, damn, I was so impressed with like the writing for that. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I was like, that's really good. <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. killed it as Iron Bull. I had Bull Durian and Sarah in my party. It was hilarious. He did. He, I know, you know, he was Vega in Mass Effect uh, 2 and 3. He was Vega, but he was really good as... Iron Bull. I, I really loved his acting for that character. It was really good. Considering Andre Richardson uh, survived the fall from 3, I'm sort of wondering if Mine survived as well. I don't know if he did, because didn't he use him as a, a cushion? <laughs> like when, when, when they fell, he was on top of him, so I, I, I think he died, because he got squished. That's what I'm thinking. I prefer to let Iron Bull and Dorian together. That's I, I made sure that happened. When I was romancing Solas, I'm like, I'm getting these two together because they're cute. <laughs> like, I knew what could happen with the mirror and still messed it up anyways. Yeah, I mean, I can't hate Merle, though. Because I think of her like little sister. You know? What kind of build do you want to play? I genuinely don't know. I don't know what I want to go for because I think when I when I bought this game nine years ago and then I played it for a bit, I, I wasn't even going for any kind of build. I was just like, I'm looking for my son. <laughs> Let me run around. I really didn't know what I was doing. So I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what kind of build I'm going to do. Th 
thank you, Mr. Marvel. Yeah, my, my kid's gonna have a lot of... He's, he's got a big backlog. I'm just gonna say that right now. You know? <laughs> he's got a big backlog for gaming. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna start the game now. Um, give me like one second. I gotta like flip my monitor so I can switch it over. Give me one second, I'm going to switch over the monitor so that we can play this. Okay, hang on one second. I gotta like, okay, I'm playing on Xbox. Like I said earlier, we're doing the Xbox version, no mods because I know they're doing a huge update next week and I didn't want to start on PC because it would probably break everything and I don't want to deal with that. So we're just doing the regular, regular playthrough of Fallout, okay? Really good songs, but I'm gonna get copyright up the ass, so we're gonna have to mute that. Um, turn those on. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, you can change the color of the Pip Boy. I forgot about that. <laughs> Radio. We're gonna have to turn this down. I'm sorry, guys. YouTube is gonna ask me if I do that. <laughs> so we'll do this. I'll turn this down a little bit. We'll do it like that so it's not super loud in my ears. Okay, I think that should be okay. Okay. We'll start with a new game. Yes! Thank you. <laughs> um... I'm- for now, I'm just gonna play regular vanilla Fallout 4 for now, just to make it easier on myself. Fallout 4! My dog left me. <laughs> War. War never changes. My great great grandfather serving in the army wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs. Damn, 2,000 hours? Oh my god. <laughs> Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to hear 
use atomic energy not as a weapon, but it's a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. So if I remember correctly, the reason why the Fallout series is like stuck in the 50s is because like it's supposed to be like dark sat satire, right? Where where it's like people thought that's what the future would look like kind of thing. The entire world unraveled. Did I like the show? Yeah, I did. It was really good. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. Myself or my wife or my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war. War never changes. Nope. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Now get ready. Here we go. Stop hogging the mirror. Right. Maybe I'll be a girl. I don't know. Can I customize my husband? Is that a thing that I can do? Like, if I'll if I change like his features and then switch over to like the wife, will that save his e editing and stuff like that? Can I do that? Because like I kind of want to. I kind of want to edit him. <laughs> I'm not going to like kind of want to edit him. Um Cuz if I can do that, I'm going to do that, you know what I'm saying? You can? Yeah, oh, sick. Okay. Yeah, that's good. How do you What do I do? I don't even remember how to do this. Oh. 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 You can just like switch it around. Why is this called math teacher? Why is he bald like this? That's kind of rude to math teachers, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's pretty rude. Um Damn bro, they're giving like no chill for the, the bald hair. Nine to five. I don't know. I think if I remember correctly, when I did like my my playthrough nine years ago, like the first video, I was like, I want to make him like Don Draper <laughs> from Mad Men. Yo, these hair cells are like wild as hell. What the heck? I think. I mean, I'm gonna keep him as nice. dapper because like. He's looking a little bit crazy right now. Can I like change your Can I change the color of it? Yeah, I can. Damn, bro. All right, we'll just go jet this black. That's really working for me. I feel like I'm not doing much to his face. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> um Suave man's man. Listen, you can look really, like, good with a beard. It's just a matter of finding a nice beard, though. Um. <laughs> Should I do this? Should I give him a mustache like that? God damn! Oh my goodness. Doomsday prepped. Yeah, this this game has giant bugs. I'm not looking forward to that part. I'm, I'm just say that right now. Yo, he kind of looked good with this. Not gonna lie. It accents with chin. 
All right, I'm not gonna do too much because I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to the the oh, girl. Time, big guy. Yeah, there's there's going to be there's going to be um a huge update on the 25th. I want to say. Okay, um, let me see the faces though. Cute. Cute. Can I just say I I don't know why I'm like yo why is he like he he looks he the husband looks kind of sweet like he's like looking at me like all nicely and stuff like what wh that's kind of adorable I don't know <laughs> dude I love her hair hold on um um face um. Not, not the color. I meant. Let's see what the girls got. God damn. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She got a huge forehead, but to be fair, I also have a huge ass forehead. So, like, you know, is this accurate? I guess so. <laughs> Picket fences, I kind of like. I kind of, I kind of like this one. I don't know. I guess because it's like looking at like the fifties thing. He looks like so proud of you, right? That's what I'm saying. Oh, he looks so nice adorable. I swear. We'll just keep it black, I guess. That's okay. Um. Okay, obviously she's not going to accurately look like me. I'm just trying to go off of, like, so we can get the game started. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, color of my lips. Oh, wait. Color of my skin? Is that what's happening? I'm pale as hell in real life, so... it's not. I was trying to do my makeup. Am I not allowed to do that? Oh, there we go. Looking mm -hmm. good, huh? Oh, thanks! What a nice husband you are. What a nice husband. Um, I kind of like that one. <laughs> uh. Still got it. That's right. That's right. Oh, my reaction channel is on hiatus until I have my baby. Because I, I cannot run two channels at the moment. That's kind of the reason why I haven't done anything with it. Um. Oh my god, my body. You can, like, make what you look like. Damn, bro, I'm thin as hell. Hang on. What if you're like muscular? Can I be <laughs> Can I be like a beef lady? I think it's cuz the pants are making it look like proportionally weird. I'm just going to assume that's what's happening. Okay, we'll just go with this. Yes. All right, husband, Nate. Hun. Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? Okay, what are you gonna do though? What, what are you just gonna stand here in the sink? I'm hurrying up. Don't worry. You better. What the hell? <laughs> um, I'm gonna look around because why not? I mean, this is a nice setup. I'm gonna be real honest. It's nice. Nice setup. Um, can I close this? Hey, look, our kid. That kid does not look like me. <laughs> that kid does not look like me. Or my husband. <laughs> ah, good morning, Mom. Hello. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Brew to perfection. Well, thank you. Thanks, Codsworth. Oh, I didn't mean to cut him off. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut him off. Sorry, sorry.
Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> what you cooking there? Oh, you're making dishes? Okay. That's good. What are we eating? You know? Just just wondering. Huh. More of the same. I'm glad we got Codsworth. Me too. I mean, it'd be nice if we had a robot, you know? Oh, we're near Halloween? I didn't know that. That's it? Damn, that's kind of cold. Who the fuck is that guy? Uh oh, there's a guy coming. Hey, husband, there's some guy at the front door. <laughs> there's somebody at the front door. Uh, that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering me. Can we just not answer the door? I'm not answer. I don't know who you are. Go away. Like genuinely speaking, I don't know who you are. Leave me alone. I'm gonna play with my kid. Is that all you can do? Okay, well, here you go, Sean. You can have that. No, genuinely speaking, what happens if I don't answer the door? I don't want to answer. Get away from my, my house. <laughs> Hun? Can you get the door? What the fuck? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and Why? over. Why? Maybe if we ignore him, we'll go away. Okay, let me ignore him. Can I sit down? All right. Let's just watch TV. I I, I didn't see that guy. I, if I could close the blinds, that would help too. Yeah, I never realized that this that this game was taking place near Halloween. <laughs> I can't escape. I'm kind of impressed. I'm actually impressed too. He's not gonna go away. Damn it. Good morning, vault calling. Hi. Um, no thank you. No offense, but no soliciting. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Not today. You can't begin to know how happy you have a clipboard. I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. Just, it's just a slam the door is what I would do. <laughs> I assure you. Um, no thank you. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. No. <clears throat> you do. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. <laughs> Did you tell him to go away? <laughs> no. Oh, just go away. This is a scam, sir. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information <laughs> to make sure you're clear. <laughs> this man the will be alone. <laughs> total atomic annihilation. No. Come back some <laughs> other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let <laughs> us pull it out. Excuse me. No. I think you forgot what no <laughs> means. Fine. I'll do it myself. Nate. Stubborn. Splendid. God damn it. Splendid. Let's get to it. The <laughs> if this was my husband in real life, he would <laughs> just slam the door closed. What the hell, bro? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh. I didn't mean that. Let me just put my name. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Okay. Whenever I play characters in RPG games, I love putting my charisma really high just because I like talking my way out of stuff. So that's like one thing I really want. Hang on, I'm gonna do. Uh, let's 
the only other thing too. I don't know what to do. Let me decide too. This is not good. Hmm. I mean, this should be okay for now. <laughs> this should be okay for now. I just really want my charisma to be really high. Just because I like playing like that in any kind of game. Wonderful. That's everything. i uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey. It's peace of mind. Babe, we got scammed. What are you talking about? No price is too high. We got scammed. Good answer. I have my moments. Why is he walking away? Isn't that his car? Okay, I'll get them in a second. Why did that guy just walk away like that? Go ahead, honey. Be there in a second to help okay <laughs> sebastian thank you so much for the super chat i put uh, intelligence at nine and help me level up oh damn i didn't think about that damn it <laughs> damn it it's okay hey hun i'll be there in a minute go ahead dude my husband i'm kind of pissed at my husband right now he didn't back me up to the next house? I mean, I guess so, but he was like saying he's picking people who served in the military. I I like to think not everybody did. I don't know. Suspicious. Is there a window over here? I don't see him around. Can I turn this off? Sorry, it's just the copyright. I don't flip and see him. I don't know. Yeah, that was one thing I remember when this game came out. Uh, Todd Howard said, if you have, like, a really common name, Cogsworth will say your name. So, since my name is pretty common, he said it, which I thought was really cool back then. <laughs> my boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? He's doing the, the hot dad stance. Okay, hang on. We gotta talk about this. If, if you want to, like, riz your wife or something stand like this in a hallway just just doing this look at him he's doing the hot dad stance sir look at him. he's so smug too <laughs> he's so smug about it too <laughs> how do i there we go that's my boy on his best behavior just like his dad most of the time. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Is the sound too low? I can turn it up, yeah. I just turned it down because the music was hella loud earlier. Maybe, maybe that'll be okay now. Um, Halloween prep. Let's get pumpkins instead. Carve jack-o'-lanterns. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Oh, Codsworth? God. What's wrong? Uh oh. Why is the door closed? Did you do that? Followed by. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our fleet stations. Oh no. We do, we do have. We do have coming in. That's, um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Please stand by, bitch. We need what? To get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Okay, okay. What about you? Hello? Codsworth. Stay safe, honey. And your family as well, Mom? Oh, my. Oh, no. We can't bring Cogsworth. Do we have a dog? Because, like, there's a bull there. Hello? Residents of Get in this guy's car! Quickly! If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Hey! This is just a drill, right? This can't really be happening. Girl, I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Hey, I have a question. 
What happens if I don't go to the vault? What if we just stay here? Can I just stay here? <laughs> Residents of Sanctuary Hills. I'm kind of curious now. Evacuate to Vault 111. We don't have any room in the car. Oh my god. What if we can't drive far enough in time? The hey. nukes are coming. This is it. communist bastards. Of Sanctuary Hills. It's sad to think that, like, all of this is just, like, fabricated, too. Ma'am, vaults the other way. What's this way? Ooh! <laughs> Did I just collapse onto the floor? Okay, Codsworth. at least I know now. That was the end of the game. Game safe, over. And your family as well, oh, my. That was actually kind of funny. Sorry, I'm gonna close Residence the door for the sake of Cogsworth. All right, Nate, let's go run. Hold on to Sean. <laughs> the way she flopped down was pretty funny. <laughs> Hold on, little guy. Hold on. Hold on to our kid. Oh my God. Help me pack it up. Bruh, leave your bag. We don't have time. Oh my gosh. That's absurd. I am not on the list. You don't get in. You can't shot me. Yo, that's fucked up. This guy can't go in. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. <laughs> It's messed up. What? Hey. No, no, no. Tell me if you're registered. If you're not, you don't get in. Oh, that's, that's messed really up. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good you didn't luck, even sir. ask my Thank name. Do you see how so weird that is? You didn't ask my name. What the f? Okay, sorry. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna yeah. happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. This way. You didn't even ask my name, sir. How do you know that I'm actually in the program? The f? Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Jesus! Hold on! Everyone got blasted outside. Even those like people working for Voltec, because they didn't get down here. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, Is it, though? Stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... <gasps> no, no. We'd all be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just oh, he's the overseer. Through the door there. Hey there. Just head up the stairs. We'll take care of everything. He's got a mustache, and I don't trust him. I'm sorry, I have to say that. Head up the stairs. Are we the only one with a kid? This is weird. Good. Take the vault seat, then head down the hall. I trust nobody in here. I'm sorry. I know we're neighbors, but like, damn, bro. Yeah, looks fine. Over there. Take a seat. One Just vault step seat. over to the now table. Head down the hall. Don't tell me what to do, you sketchy man. <laughs> 
if you take one of these, your brand new vault suits. Okay. It's down Thanks. the hallway right there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. How come you weren't directing other people, huh? Huh? This is our just, home. Just uh, my family? That's oh, weird. Love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? The Just vault checking everyone off the list the as they come in. Okay, I don't. Again, I don't want to discriminate. Why are all the 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 staff here like balding? It's making me not trust you. <laughs> Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Can I talk to my Thank husband? You. See? Mommy's not going far. All set? Just step inside. Shut up! Let me talk to my family! You alright? Go ahead. I just want to give Sean a moment. Okay. Question. You walk into this vault and they're like, Get in! Are you getting in? With no explanation, because didn't this guy just say we'll go over in orientation? Bro didn't do orientation. I, I don't like this. Hey, step into the chamber whenever you're ready. You're not explaining much. This is weird. Oh god. Listen, I I, get, I don't want to discriminate, but a lot of bald people are around here, and it makes me think everybody's stressed out. <laughs> and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for home. Relax? Resident secure. I don't like this. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In ah! five, four. I can't see! Are you joking? Wait! Hold on! <laughs> I, can't, I can't- Wait, can I re- <laughs> Can I reload that? I can't see anything! <laughs> I can't see anything! Bro, I didn't know they were gonna freeze me! <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Stay safe, honey. I don't want to miss something because I feel like something's happening and then we can't see shit. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Okay, we'll do this real quickly. We'll do this real quickly so I can go back. <laughs> Where's my husband? Let's go. Dude, I didn't know they were going to freeze me immediately. I thought it was going to be like a slow thing. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny, though. No, but like genuinely speaking, <laughs> genuinely speaking, I think that's the one thing I really like about the Fallout series, like the story of like how all of this was like fabricated. It's not even real, like the bombs dropping and stuff like that. We need to get in. Yeah, let me in. Let me in. Infant. Well, in. I feel like it wouldn't because you're frozen. Okay, go. Okay, move, 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 move. Let's go. Good luck, you sir. Two follow me. And Come God on. Help us What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform. All the neck pain. <laughs> no legit. All the neck pain that we get because we're leaking. Almost there. Oh is man, okay? this is funny. He's fine. We're going to be okay. I uh. love you. Oh my God. Oh my god. That's really funny. Wait, in this game it's real. Is it I, is it not? I thought all the bombs were just dropped because like 
they were like, hey, let's experiment on it. Because I know the vaults are experiments. Every vault has a different experiment in every game. We did it. We made it. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to speed run this so we can go back to the crowd. And proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just no, what I mean by the bombs dropping that, like, it's fake, what I mean, like, they did it on purpose. You, you know what I mean? Like, they're not doing it like, oh my god, because of the war. It's like, let's just drop the bombs. Isn't that what it is? This one's good. Step over to the table, take a suit. This way, please. You'll need your suit before we can take you through. Alright, thank you, thank you, let's go. Just follow the doctor. He'll show oh, fuck the doctor, I'm walking my, my own way. <laughs> it's gone. Our home. Everything we had. There's actual war in the game. That I know. So so it is just because of the war then. Am I just getting it confused? Because I genuinely don't know. Just a few medical items. We have to get across the list. We have to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? All right. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There she is, see? Mommy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on hey, your Hey, hun. Suit. Go ahead, hun. I'll take Sean with me. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm, I promise I won't look up this time. <laughs> the pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. How can we relax? Secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. How long have we been in here? And I'm kind of curious, because I know, like, for this game specifically, like, it jumps forward. But I mean, this part, how long have we been here for? Open it. Who the fuck's that guy? Oh, I can move. I'm stupid. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That guy has a gun! No! This is, this is why you don't trust random balding doctors, I'm telling you right now! <laughs> Get me out of here! No, husband. Oh, there has to be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh my God. I'll find who did this. Oh, you, you can and take I'll the wedding Shane ring. Back. I promise. 
No, he was hot. Can I open the other ones? Are they dead? Why would Vault Tech do this? I can't believe the only one left. Hello? Anyone? Is it just me? They're all, they're all like the, this one's empty. Oh. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated, manual, and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Offline. So there's no life support. All those people are dead then. Unknown. Pod door manual override engaged. What about me? Oh, yep. They're all dead. They're all dead. They're definitely all dead. Uh-oh. This is really creepy. So, like, no one else is around, right? Hello? Eh, this is weird. Hello? Oh, there's another one. Wait, so then they froze the whole vault then, right? Right? Hello? Sorry guys, I just want to look around. So everybody's dead then. That's nice. Okay. Everybody's dead. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> Can I, like, take something? I'm gonna take a wrench. It doesn't work. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Do you- Oh, no! Do I have a- How do I- I need to put a weapon- Ew! <laughs> it's a giant-ass bug, bro! What the hell? Oh, my god. Yeah, no, not liking that. Uh, uh. Oh, stim pack. Give me that. Um, security logs. Last. Wait, let me read these. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got in the residence inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all the time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? Yeah, you should have. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that we got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They're hiding something from us? Another company secret only for the higher ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the we until the all clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. Only a few weeks left in the mandatory shelter period. Everyone is getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying that the all clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer. That for that's for sure. It's not even just for the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months, tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient and focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. 
The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times from the little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with the axe to grind. No all clear from vault tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all out but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping the damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening the vault. I never knew the man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in the office along with the rest of the side staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone and it's time. One way or another we're getting out of this vault. Damn bro! I guess we're stuck. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staffs are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring Stein staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from the assigned duties. My light went out. Oh shit. Hang on. My light just went out. Are you serious? I'm gonna have to use this one only. I only have the one light now. Hold on. You guys can still see me, right? <laughs> I think my light just went out. Oh no. Oh, what the hell? Come on. Honey, you gotta move, babe. I gotta fix the light. <laughs> Hang on, like, one second. <laughs> Dude, my light just died. I put my other one in front of me, but it's not enough to, like, you know, light the whole... I you guys can still see me, though, right? So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix my light because the, the bulb just went out. So, that's great. Anyway, let's continue where we were. <laughs> oh, brother. Anyway. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from the assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with the vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Okay. Upon activation, notice from vault tech. All personnel are required to report the entry area and assist with the admittance of vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Research staff will be responsible for the residents intake and escort each to the des designated cryopod. Residents not accounted for in the manif manifest should be asked to step aside and detain, forcefully by security if necessary. Once all the residents have been sealed into their own preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. It's spooky right now because my light just went out. <laughs> oh, they have this whole thing. I, I'm actually really impressed. This is like a, one of the things I like about Bethesda games. The lore is pretty good. Like you can't say that it's not. It's like actually pretty good. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of the cryogenically preserved residents. Um, cardio, preliminary, and cognitive activity in particular must be re recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has been perished while in cryo, cryo suspension and must not be interrupted suspension. Well, everybody's dead, just so you know. 
Independent research is encouraged and left to the overseas discretion. Security protocols are to carry out the, co the constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring signs for in in intrusion, checking for the atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by Vault Tech. Due to the nature of Vault 11, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualification, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of the roles is left to the overseer's discretion. Okay. So, like, what am I gonna- I'm scared. Did you see that big ass bug? There's multiple bugs! Ew! Okay. I was looking, I'm like, where's the punch button? I need to know where the punch button is, or I'm screwed. If a cockroach comes at me, I'm punching them. Oh, hell no. You the only one? Hey! Ew, dude. Giant roaches. What the hell? See, and I don't like bugs in real life either, especially ones that can fly. Do I have to take... Hey, oh. Hello? Is there another roach in here? Okay. Overseer memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Top 10. Okay. Play tape. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, okay, so this is just like what they did in their free time. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to see if there's like any like items I could pick up that that'd be useful. Hello? Is there any more bugs? Cause I, I don't wanna see you. Huh. Okay. Everything's been cleared out. Oh god, we're gonna have to fight more. Ew. Do they get electrocuted? I think they did, right? Oh yeah, it did. Oh god. Okay, that's blocked. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ah! What happened to this guy? What happened here? Where is everyone? I don't know why I picked up that clipboard. Sorry, I panicked. <laughs> Bruh. What? Power attack? Ow! Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Oh no. Hello? Hey, is that the doctor? Is this all that's left? Yeah, thanks. I'll get, I'll take all that. Yep, I'll take that too. Overseer terminal. Okay, let me see this. Final staff orientation is complete. All but have a few of the residents down the Sanctuary Heralds have been enrolled. Several from the Concord as well. Vault Tech supervisors came this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to be open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. Uh, okay. It happened. We are lucky with most of the staff nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but 
only Nordenhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Residents admitted went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. That's us, because I kept saying no. <laughs> I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happen so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. See, if that were me, I'd still ask. That's just me, though. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in the vault text remote override system may have been sent out an errant, errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing here. If people think that I can just leave uh, when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault and I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just... You just what? A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding that they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door for to be eradi eradicated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the ra rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm gonna open this. Is there anything else I can take before I leave? I just don't want to miss any items. Give me some, some cigarettes, sure. I don't know if I could use that for anything, but I'll just take it. Vault Tech lab coat. I'm gonna just take that too. <gasps> I can't break this? Pre-war money. I know that doesn't matter, but again, I, I don't know. I might use it for something. Oh, oh fuck, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. Ah! Oh my god! Not the bug getting behind me, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh hell, oh hell, they're coming at me. I missed? I missed? I missed? Ah! Oh. Ow! <laughs> Not the cockroaches eating me alive. Oh no. Oh, come on. I think I think I think my aim is just ass. I'm just aiming poorly. <laughs> this is awful. Hello? Any more roaches? You mean sneak? Why, huh? Oh, okay. Dude, what? Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? I don't think so. Hang on. Sorry. I'm trying to get as much of things as I can. Everyone's dead. Oh shit! <laughs> Take Pip Boy.
All right, cool. Now I got a pip boy. Before I leave, though. Yeah, this is where the way I came. Okay, okay. I said open all the doors already. How do I j Oh, shit. Oh, uh, hang on. How do I jump? Oh, does it doesn't matter. I have to go this way? I'd be too scared to leave, but you know you would have to leave at some point because there's nothing left here. Like, what were they expecting? So, like, they didn't give them an all clear. What were they expecting them to do? Um, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Enjoy your return to the I think the people who were supposed to send the all clear died. Probably. That's that's probably what happened. Cuz they did say some people didn't make it into the vault, like the staff. My eyes! <sighs> well, all those people who worked, who worked uh, for Vault Tech and regular people. Mm-hmm. Are birds gonna attack me? <laughs> Please don't attack me. Wait, bottle cap. Take that. I don't really want to sprint yet. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> the music is not helping either. Oh god. Hello? <gasps> Cogsworth! Has he just been clipping hedges since then? Where 
Here's your better half, by the by. They killed him! They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's not a distraction, he's actually dead. We've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? He's dead! They took him! He's been kidnapped! Sean's been kidnapped. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that. 200 years?! 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're... Uh, How can Sean play charades? I don't know. Charades, charades, whatever, but... He's trying to make me feel better. Are, are you okay? Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? Ooh, I got some experience from that. Uh, Mom, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. Oh. I spent the first ten years <laughs> trying to keep the floors waxed. <laughs> Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing. And oh, no you really just tried to clean the house. Um, stay with stay me. With he's, me. He's having a panic attack. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this holotape. I believe so was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. What do you mean? Thank you. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up- No, sir is dead! <laughs> um, anything dangerous? Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Yes. All right. Lead the way. Wait, can I see my house? Before we go anywhere? Cogsworth, you go ahead. I'm just gonna look in here. No, my house. Obviously nothing's gonna work. Bear, do not bark at me. Nice. Anything I can take? I know Cogsworth is like out there. He's like, where did you go? I'm I'm just looking at my house. Damn. Everything's gone. I'm coming, sweetheart. No, my kid. Bear stop. My flippin' dog. Mr. Handy. Okay, I'll take that. Can you guys hear my dog? <laughs> Honey, I can't play with you right now. Mom's streaming. <laughs> this is the car. Our car is like totally messed up. Baby bear, I can't play with you right now. Where did Cogsworth go? Hello? Hello? Wait, okay, well, um... Is there a way I can watch that holo tape? <laughs> I 
<laughs> he's just he's just cranky because I'm not playing with him at the moment. Wait, how do you watch hollow tapes? Am I not allowed to watch it on the Pip Boy? <laughs> Baby. I can't play right now. Come here. I can't play right now, okay? <laughs> no, he's not pissed, trust me, that's not his pissed voice. <laughs> Go into inventory? Okay. Oh, my wedding ring is- Oh, my wedding ring is there! Oh, is it this? Please ignore my my dog in the background. So wait, I had a law degree too? Oh my Bye, god. That's sad. That's sad. Where the hell did Cogsworth go? I just lost his ass. I really don't know where he went. Oh, he's in there. Okay, hang on. Can I, like, look in the other houses for, like, things? I don't know, in case there's, like, an item or something I can get? Anything? No. Oh! <gasps> Bottle cap? Oh, what the fuck? Give me this. I'ma need that. Bottle cap. Let's take all that too, because I know I know we can craft in this game. I do know that. So there's that too. No, the Halloween decorations! Hey, Cogsworth, you find anything? Hey, Cogsworth. Miss Jessica! You're Dude, you're going through the roof. Happy isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? That's the thing, Cogsworth. They are. Ew! Cogsworth. Miss Jessica! No other comments? Just- Why is there so many dead bugs in here? I don't like that. Hold on, let's see. Nothing of note. Trying to see if I can find more bullets or something like that. I don't know if that's gonna do much. Ow! Mole rat teeth? Why is that in the mailbox? <laughs> Back here. Nothing. Wait. 
Cogsworth, are you just going to stay there? Search the neighborhood with him. Yeah, but he's not coming with me. Is he is he stuck? Codsworth. Miss Jessica. Sir and young Sean. They aren't here. Oh, there we go. What now? Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. Um, I'm not, he's not useless. There's still people alive and conquered? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home from. Wait, can he not come with me? Hold on. Hey, Codsworth. You can't come with me? Someone who can help you with conquer. I'd rather not go by myself, just saying. I'm I'm just I'm just saying, oh god. Now I'm scared. Um Well can Nothing else I can take, I don't think. Denim dress? Oh man. Alright, hang on. I don't know where I'm going, we're just gonna go. Hey, there's a pot there. Okay. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. What the fuck? Oh my god. Jesus. I'm just looking for things. Why did that bug jump at me like that? Hmm. Okay. Sanctuary. Anything in the trash can? No. Dude, that bug gave me a heart attack. Oh my god. That's true, it's probably the bug's house. You're probably right. Why is there a dead guy on the ground? He's a raider? Okay. Um. <gasps> a dog! A dog! Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Um. You're okay? <laughs> you seem like an okay guy. Dog! Okay, then. Let's stick together. Best companion! Hey. Talk. How you doing, buddy? Tricks? Hey boy. You know any tricks? <laughs> That's so cute! Oh my god. That's so adorable. Okay, hang on. Where, where are you going? Uh, dog? What, what, what are we looking at? I mean, yeah, the pre- uh, money, sure. What is it? In here? Oh. 
Good job, dog. Business entries. Oh wait, there's a sto there's a safe storage. Okay, then we're gonna, we're gonna have to go through that too. Hang on a second. So this is just all log. Oops, this is all just logs from before. You're a good dog. Thanks, thanks for bringing me here. What is it? What the? Oh shit! Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh god! Oh my god! What is that? What the fuck? Okay, um... Oh my god, am I gonna get jumped by a bunch of mole rats? Is there any more? Hello? Oh fuck, oh fuck! Hey, leave my dog alone! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Is that- ah! Oh my god, please tell me it's over! Why is there so many of them? Oh my god, is it over? Please, I, I don't want- I don't want any more. No, thank you. Dude. <laughs> what the hell? Is there any nuka? Oh, there is one in there. Oh, I can craft on that too. That's nice. Another armor workbench. Okay. Oh, and then I could cook s I guess this could be like one of the hideouts, I guess? I'm just- I'm just assuming. Dog meat, that was scary. Hey, dog. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Never mind, boy. Okay, I think- <laughs> I think we're fine. For now. Oh hey, there's more stuff in here. Hello. Sorry, I gotta turn that off because copyright. Um How far do I have to I keep pressing the wrong button? I need the pip boy. Um Vault eleven. Concord is that way. Okay. Okay, this dog's officially coming with me, right? <laughs> that was terrifying, though. Flipping moles. Mole rats. You go this way. Oh, hell no. What the fuck? Hey, yo, back it up, back it up! Ah! Jesus Christ! Ew! I need to work on my aim, bro. <laughs> Hang on, I want to go through the houses because, like, again, if there's anything I can get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, there's a safe here. No way I can pick this. Damn. Oh, we're here. Um, charisma, cause that's that's what I want to do. Can we go in on the other house? Hello. <laughs> Hello? Is that gunshots? That sounds like gunshots. <gasps> I can just drink the water too, that's nuts. Oh hell no! There's there's somebody shooting over there. My dumb ass is like, let me just stand here like an idiot. Ow! How did I do vats again? I don't remember. A second, I gotta rob them first. <laughs> I should probably get some like stuff to wear. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! But I'm wasting ammo, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ow, ow, ow. Is it RB? RB? Okay, okay. No, it's not. Oh, it's LB! It's LB! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um... I can't go that way. Is this guy? No taxation without representation. Let's send these creeps back to London, boys. I also like that that uh, the dog was like hiding too. 
Where's this bitch? I don't see him. Got you. Huh? Not. Where'd he go? He's probably upstairs. Uh, this is bullshit. Dog meat is growling. Don't like that. He's upstairs then. <gasps> no, my dog, my dog, my dog. Hey! Where are they? You're still alive? Christ. I should be saying that to you, sir. I'm not gonna steal clothes just yet. Deselect. I saw what I meant. Oh, I got lucky there. <laughs> Oh goodness gracious, the dog scared me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm coming in there, and I'm gonna skin every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta take a little walk. I'll be back. button hello man i don't know who you are but <laughs> preston garvey commonwealth minute um uh they glad to help. glad to help well if that's true we could use some more goodwill as you can see we're in a bit of a mess here No offense, but I also got my own problems. I have my own problems, Garvey. Yeah? Like what? You help us, maybe we can help you. Why Why was he so rude about it? My son. My baby Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. It's, it's Sorry. Rough break. Sounds really rough. Uh, Thanks. Uh, that it's ain't good it. to meet someone who really cares. <laughs> Why was he so rude anyway, to me at first? Like, damn, bro, calm down. Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders uh, proved us wrong. But, well, no. we do have one idea. 
Better be a good one. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Sounds useful. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Might huh. work. Because <laughs> my aim is oh, ass. <laughs> Provided we can reactivate the suit, it's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. All right, I'll since we're we protagonists, we have to help. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Okay. Can't be too hot. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Oh, brother. Okay. I think I'm gonna stop it here. I wanted to get to a point where at least we get most of like the tutorial stuff out of the way, you know, for the first stream. So let me save this. Man, this is so... Yeah, we'll go to the main menu. Oh my goodness. Okay, hopefully for the next stream I can fix my light because that was not planned. It just flipping went out on me. <laughs> but I think, I think that's a good place to stop. So at least that way we have...